Well, hello friends. Yesterday we talked about Solomon in his dedicatory prayer of how he asked the Lord to hear and forgive. We talked about how God will forgive us instantly, but we have to have a sincere heart, a humble heart. Well, today in our reading in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 to 9, we find God's response. And in chapter 7, in verse number 14, he says, if my people, now I want to begin here, the word if carries with it the connotations of their conditions. So I want us to think about this. If my people, which are called by my name. Now, there's a responsibility on the people of God. It doesn't say if the people of the other nations around you, or if the people of this world, it says if my people, which are called by my name. So I want to say, if you're a follower of God, there's a responsibility with you and I to do something. And so let's go on. And it says, which are called by name, will humble themselves. We need to come to God with humility and pray. We need to be praying for our nation, for those around us, our families. We need to pray and seek my face, the scripture says. We don't seek doctors. We don't seek politicians. We don't seek educators. These are not the answer to the problems that we have in our culture today. We need to seek the face of God. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Now, friends, you and I, we are Christians. We shouldn't have wicked ways, but unfortunately, there are things in our life sometimes that we hold on to. We cannot hold on to the world and hold on to God at the same time. We've got to turn from the wicked ways, turn loose of those selfish desires and things that we want to do. And we got to hold on to God. Turn from our wicked ways. Then it says, then, then after we, uh, his people, we humble ourselves and we pray and we seek the face of God and turn from our wicked ways. Then he will hear from heaven. He will hear and he will forgive us of our sin. Friends, our nation is needs help. It needs help, and you and I are the hope for our nation. Again, we can't turn to the political, uh, the, to the political rib. They're not going to help us. We've got to turn to God. He is our help. So then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. If there ever is a day we need a healing, it's the day in which we live in. So I want to challenge you today, my friends. May you and I, if my people, the people of God, we will humble ourselves and begin praying and seek the face of God and turn from our wicked ways. I believe God can bring us revival again to our nation. Well, God bless you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.